Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Foxy98 here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel. Today, we are back with another episode of How Fast Is It to Drive uh, Backwards at another track on F1 2018. Today, we're here for the second episode, which is at Bahrain. Uh, first of all, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for all the support on yesterday's video. It did a really, really good job on it. Um, you guys smashed it, you enjoyed it, went over 100 likes, which is always for me like a target total for videos. Um, so if it goes over that, then I'm really, really happy. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for the support. Um, so today we're here for the Bahrain uh, circuit. Now, if you're unaware of this um, series or you didn't catch up on yesterday's episode, uh, basically what happens is we go ahead and we set a time trial lap going forwards just so we can get a base standard of where we should be uh, in terms of pace. Um, and uh, stuff like that doesn't really help my cause. Um, but as soon as we've done that, uh, it doesn't matter how fast the lap is going forwards. Uh, we then go ahead, we're going to turn the car around and we're going to go backwards. Uh, and we're going to see what we can do driving backwards and try and set the fastest lap backwards possible. Uh, so that's the aim anyway. Um, and uh, I've decided I don't I want to do this series in the Mercedes. Um, so I know the Ferrari is the fastest car in the game. Don't worry about that. Uh, I just kind of want to do something with Mercedes-Benz because Mercedes is my team. So... Also, following from that as well, uh, these um, videos, they're going to be using default setup. So, obviously, don't expect majorly sweaty lap times because I'm not going to be running a setup for them. So, that's the plan anyway. Bahrain's a track that I normally do struggle at quite a lot anyway. So, I'm not really expecting anything massive. But, who knows? I wonder if they actually let you use ERS in this game. I kind of don't know if they do. Just because I'm seeing it right... That was a bit late on the brakes. It's alright though. Kind of got away with it. That was very close to all four wheels off the track. I actually kind of... I kind of want to see how close I got. I got very close to all four wheels off the track. In fact, I did have all four wheels off the track. Okay, that's that's something interesting then. So I'm guessing time trial is a bit more lenient this year. Um, I, ha I, I saw it in the comments yesterday. Someone commented, um, isn't, it, isn't the curbs part of the track? That's completely false. So this white line here, if all four wheels like mine are now are past that white line, I am not on the racing circuits. The curb is not part of the track. So right now, this is all four wheels off the racing track. So I'm guessing Time Trial have got to that stage now where no matter what, they're starting to be a bit more um, lenient now towards um, those uh, sections because that's all four wheels off the track. But perhaps maybe they've decided that if it genuinely does lose you time, then they won't penalize it or something. I don't know. But anyway... Uh, it's going to be 127.9. I'm not really bothered again how fast the laps are, in all fairness. Uh, it's what it is. Yeah, two thousandths in the world. Who cares? That will do. Um, so, we're going to now turn the car around. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of speed and a bit of pace to do it. Uh, so, we're going to go back here. That'll do. Um, and there we go. That's right. So, now we're going to be going backwards. Ooh, that's already going to be a difficult final corner for me. Oh, no. Rear end just went away from me then. Well, for, for my laps. Alright, that's already gone wrong. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is going to be it's going to be hard. Oh, my God. This is extremely hard. Jeez. Oh my god. That's such a nice flowing little section. But still, Bahrain backwards is not simple. Australia was quite easy. This might take me a little bit longer just to get get used to the track, get used to the feeling of the... the, the uh... Alright, I seem to have... Alright, I seem to know relatively where to break for that corner now, so that's good. Heading up towards this corner now. This is a difficult one. I suppose I could let myself away with that. Oh, no. 
I've been trapped on the curb, and I've had a massive crash. Okay, this is going to take some learning. Too late on the brakes. Oh my god. This lap is really difficult. No accuracy right now for me. It's just too early on the brakes or too late on the brakes. That's as best as I'm going to get through there. Still got some learning to do, though. Attempt through here now. Oh, no. It's not going to go right. Ah, oh, bollocks. The sweet spot yet. Up through here, sixth gear. Then drop it into fifth for this next section. Use the track on the exit. Now, this one's in again. Another one. It's, it's really hard to find a, a breaking point because you can't break too early for that corner. But if you break too late, you just drift out wide and it really doesn't work for you. This corner, though, is an absolute blast to drive. Heavy break it in towards there. I could probably take a bit more speed in there, to be honest. Uh, up into eighth gear. That's more like it through there. That's a perfect run towards the first corner. I'm actually getting really frustrated around this track at the moment. It's really bloody hard to do backwards. It really is. And it, it, it's fun because it's a challenge, but it really is not easy in the slightest. I've literally now, for the third lap in a row, tried to commentate the... Um, what's it called? The commentate the full lap through, but it's just not working out. Flipping hell. I'm getting... I don't... I don't... Oh. Alright, so we're opening up the lap now for some uh, DRS down the straight. What I'm noticing every time I'm doing these damn commentaries is I'm messing up at one different corner every single time. Apart from this one. That's pretty much your breaking point there. You can clip the curb on the exit. Not going to correct the car. I'm just going to let that fly through. That's the first time I've actually nailed the apex of that corner. Otherwise, I still bother. This one's a tough one. Got to be careful on the throttle because you get caught out. Up into seventh now. Lovely jubbly. I've missed the apex of that corner, but once again, like I said in Australia, just go and get some babies and it'll be perfectly fine. Don't steal them, obviously. Make your own. Second gear for that corner. Don't turn immediately for that corner as well. That's the best I can do for there. I'm going to let myself get away with that. Just because of how long I've been doing this for. There we go. Freezing it now down towards this final sector. You can see how much lack, lack of commentary that I'm doing compared because of the difficulty of this track. But that is going to be a lap backwards of Bahrain. Finally, we managed to hook up most of the track together. I think we missed the apex in one or two corners, in, in the um, one corner. But finally, I got a lap backwards around this damn track because really it's just been so difficult to get right. Like I've really been struggling uh, to nail a proper lap in. Um, but that lap was very good, although this one feels a little bit better, actually. I'm not going to lie. All right, so that is a lap backwards of the Bahrain International Circuit. Very, very tough one to get right. Um, it definitely took me a while to get used to the circuit and to make sure that I had all the braking zones right, especially exiting the corners. The traction was just really, really difficult. Um, but as you saw from the lap times, uh, I set a 127.9 going forwards and a 128.1 going backwards. So there was only a two tenths of a second difference. And um, yeah, there was, there, was probably t there was more time to find in both driving forwards and driving backwards. But at the end of the day, that's a really solid result. And we're just looking to see how quick we can go backwards. 
honestly, I think there's probably about three, four tenths of a second to find. Um, because, you know, just some traction zones. I missed the apex as well here and there. Um, but um, overall, it was a really, really fun challenge. Uh, but if you guys have enjoyed this video, just like the one yesterday, feel free to drop it a like, subscribe if you're new around here as well. And uh, I will be back with a new series uh, coming tomorrow. And uh, then we've got some wild, wild and wacky challenges uh, for the weekend. So take care all guys. Thanks for watching.